Yo, it's L. Welcome to The Outer Gamer, a satirical look at gaming news and stories. Let's start with Sony. They recently revealed their new PS5 Slim. It's all digital and it's $450. If you want the version with the detachable disk drive, that'll cost you $500. But say you get the $450 PS5 Slim, and later down the road you change your mind and you want that disk drive. Well, you can buy one. It'll just cost you $80. So, you're better off just spending the extra 50. Here's the best part. Once the old versions of the PS5 are all gone, all that's left are these new PS5 Slim models. And these new versions, they don't come with a stand. That's right, if you want to stand up your PS5 Slim, you're gonna have to pay $30 for that stand. It was free in the old models, but not anymore. But I get things are hard for Sony. A few weeks ago, they were hacked, and a couple days ago, they were hacked again. That's twice in one year. Now, this isn't the gaming part, it's not the movie part of Sony, it's a different division of Sony altogether. But, does that really make it better? I mean, at this point, what division of Sony hasn't been hacked? Hopefully, those $30 stands will help pay for better cybersecurity. Worst case, Sony can just hire AI to be cybersecurity, and hopefully hiring AI goes better for them than it did Nacon. For those of you who don't know what Nacon is, they're the publisher behind the Lord of the Rings Golem game that came out earlier this year. It was made by Daedalic Entertainment, which, sorry to say, is not the name of a goth escort service. Don't worry if you didn't hear about the game, it was actually the worst game to come out this year. In fact, Forcing somebody to play the game has officially made the UN's list of torture methods. The publisher, Nacon, actually used an AI to write an apology. That's right, they were so lazy, instead of apologizing, they hired an AI to write an apology. See, the apology means nothing because they didn't actually apologize. Maybe an AI made the game. That would explain the condition of it. I mean, in the apology, the AI didn't even get the name of the game right. Even though it's a small typo, still, no one even proofread it. Not only did they not write an apology, they didn't really give an apology, they couldn't even proofread the apology that an AI wrote. This is crazy. See, the game is so bad, Daedalic Entertainment will no longer make video games. Instead, they're just going to focus on publishing. They did release a statement basically saying how the game didn't live up to expectations, the next Lord of the Rings game they were working on is now cancelled. They also said this, We value each and every member of our team very much, and it is important to us that the transition goes as well as possible. IGN then rated the apology 7.5. Now, as you might have guessed, when a company says something like that, it's usually because it isn't true. Allegations from employees have come out. You know, classic video game stuff like crunch time, being forced to work overtime with no pay, and in fact one employee even said that the work environment there was an open secret in the German video game industry. Hopefully the employees find a much better job, and soon. You know who might be hiring? Microsoft. They just bought Activision Blizzard for $69 billion. They've been trying to buy them for a few months now, but Microsoft has had to deal with the CMA and the FTC. Basically, Microsoft said, we want to purchase Activision Blizzard. And the CMA and the FTC said, no. And then Microsoft said, well, what if I pay $69 billion? Then, the CMA and the FTC looked at them and said, Nice! And the sale went through. Crazy to think Microsoft was just like, I'm gonna spend pretty much 70 billion dollars to buy this company. Like, that's a crazy amount of money. I mean, they must save a lot of money by not investing into first party games. Xbox, come here if you want to play Halo and Starfield. Hey Microsoft, your best exclusives are pretty much somebody in a spacesuit, in space, with guns, and everybody shoots each other. Just keep making those games. It'll be the space age of video games. Which is funny, 
because back in the day, Atari and stuff, the screen was black, so a lot of stuff was set in space. And Mario's been to space. And in Final Fantasy IV, you go to the moon, which is like our planet's front yard. Next, we just need GTA, the solar system. And maybe a Pokemon game in space. I thought we were going to have that with Sun and Moon, but oh well. It'll be great. I can get on my Pikachu, and I can fly into the sun, just so I never have to play Pokemon again. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell your mom about me.